Welcome to video 201 in series 3 and now I'm going to edit some of the standard car scripts. I find some of the uh, standard car script behavior, well it's just not to my liking so I want to make a change to it. Some minor changes. Now I normally don't want to, I don't like to edit scripts um, that belong to the standard assets or any imported packages. I prefer to create a script uh, that interfaces with that script so that way you know I can update the package and uh, there are no flow on uh, effects like when I can update the package and I don't have to rewrite the code but in this case uh, they're pretty minor so I've just recorded them so each time I update um, my version of uh, the standard assets package I, I do just go in and edit those scripts again now the the problems are is one of them I find that the um, engine sound keeps on playing and uh, so you can be outside the vehicle and it just sound you just hear this loud engine sound all the time because it's meant for a car game it's not meant for uh, an FPS game where a player gets in the car I'm using it in a different way than was originally intended but it's still simple so it's no big deal uh, another thing I find is that um, you can use your spacebar and uh, apply the handbrakes so you come to a stop and uh, when you try to move off, you can't move off. You have to actually press your handbrake again, your handbrake button, and then you can start driving again. Uh, and I also find the, the just the car sound a bit too loud as well. So these are some of the changes I'm going to make, and it's really simple. So go to your um, car scripts folder as part of the standard assets, and open up the car controller script. Right, so the car controller script is a really big script and uh, rather than just trying to scroll through the whole thing and find what I'm looking for, I'll just search for the term handbrake. Okay, here it is. And this is the area I want you to change. So the bit where it says set the handbrake assuming that wheels two and three are the rear wheels. And what I want to comment out is just this line, if handbrake is greater than zero, uh, then this stuff gets applied. So just comment this out and put in a new line that says if handbrake is greater than or equal to zero. And I'm pretty sure that's what I did to overcome the uh, business of not being able to start the car, you know, drive off, accelerate uh, when you came to a stop by using the handbrake. So I'm just going to say, uh, just put in a comment there edited by GTGD. You can write however you like just so that you know that you edited that. And I do recommend you uh, have a Word document or a notepad, whatever, and just make a record of this change. Just copy this and paste it and uh, highlight what you've changed. That's what I do, and that's how I know that uh, when, I, if, when I update this package, I need to go and make those simple changes again. All right, so the next thing is uh, going up to the top of the uh, script. Uh, I'm going to add a uh, onDisable method. So there we go, added by GTGD, void on disable revs equal zero. And that's what drives the uh, revving sound. So if you if you run the game, you'll see that the, you can hear the engine revving sound wherever you go. And uh, yeah, I don't want that behavior, obviously, and neither do you. So just make this change and well, that'll fix that. So save that. And that is that for the script. So uh, that's good. Next one to edit is the car audio script. And uh, here what I'm looking for is the setup engine audio uh, source method. There we go, that's the one. Uh, private audio source, setup engine audio source. So by default, uh, the sound is uh, 2D. So it doesn't matter where, wherever you go, wherever you walk in, in the world, you'll hear the engine sound uh, without any change in volume. So I want to make it spatial now so that uh, it's a 3D environment. And the further you get from the car, uh, like, you know, with the camera, whatever, and uh, you, well, with the audio listener, obviously, and uh, you, that'll, that'll be that. So then your sound will decrease as you get further from the car, and which makes logical sense for a 3D game. So I'll make my change just here and just put in added by GTGD. Of course, you put your own uh, name or uh, title. 
And uh, I just put in there source dot spatial blend is equal to one. So nice and simple. All right. So now I want to actually edit um, the volume of the actual uh, audio uh, audio clips. So in the update method, uh, there's a bit about that. Let me have a look. Yep. So that's this stuff right here now. Uh, so just going through it very quickly, you can see it's a there's a quite a lot of code in there. So look for the part that says adjust the source volumes based on the fade values. So I personally find that the um, default volumes are just too high for my liking compared to everything else in the game. But look, if you don't if you don't find it that way, then don't don't adjust it. That's perfectly fine. It's just a it's a personal preference. So I'm just going to comment out the original code. And what I've put in, just copy this, copy this code, paste it below. And uh, I just put in edited by GTGD. And each of these, I've just times it by half. So the volume will be half, which is well to the, to the preference uh, of my ears. Of course, you change it to whatever you want or don't change it at all. All good. So that was it. Very simple. And uh, there's really nothing more to do here. So I've changed um, what I wanted to do with the uh, standard asset scripts for the car. Uh, so do keep a note of what you just did in a uh, in in a Word document or uh, an equivalent text uh, editor. Uh, so that way you know what you needed to change when you update the package itself. Because with each um, major iteration of Unity, yeah, you do need to keep uh, you do need to upgrade the standard assets, otherwise they can be obsolete code warnings that will bother you. All right, so uh, that's it for this video. I'll just do a very quick check that there are no uh, obvious errors coming up. No, there aren't, so it's all good. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.